Hi everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I want to show you how you can uh, remove or delete these uh, sales badges here. So um, yeah, this is a uh, WooCommerce store. This is my uh, yeah new experimental WooCommerce store and um, it is a dropshipping store. So um, every time the price updates, then I will get these uh, sale badges and um, because I am uh, pulling this product, all the products from AliExpress and this means uh, every time AliExpress, uh, the vendors over there reduces the prices, then um, also the prices on my store will be refreshed and then I get these uh, sale badges. But I don't want sale badges because they are on every product and this is not that good when the product, when the sale badges are on every product. So so in this video, I want to show you um, how you can uh, remove the remove these uh, sale badges. So it's uh, really simple. We are using a CSS code for this. And um, now I'm on the front page and I have installed um, an, a widget that will display um, yeah for for random products here. So let me show you real quick how this is how this is working. So what we need. Um, if you want to do this, so um, like I said, we are using CSS code to uh, remove the badges and um, it's best if you have a WooCommerce store. So uh, then make sure to have a uh, have a child theme installed or a child theme of your current theme. So because when your current theme um, gets an update, then all the, all the CSS customization gets wiped out. So and with a child theme, we can um, Oh, uh, um, yeah, with a the child theme, then um, uh, nothing will get wiped out because the child theme is not affected of the um, main um, theme updates. So, um, yeah, I have, um, yeah, um, let me show you real quick. We paste it in here. If you go to the customizer here on top, uh, you can see the customize tab. And if you um, click there and then you can see you have the field additional CSS. And here we want to um, insert our code. So um, and you can see here um, active theme. I have the Astra theme installed and I make made a child theme. If you don't know how to make a child theme, you can go to my channel. I have there a complete uh, video that covers this topic. It's uh, really easy. So we are using a plugin and uh, we created we uh, with this plugin, we can create the child theme. It's really simple. Uh, go to my channel and you can check it out. But uh, OK, now um, it is um, to do this. This is really important that you are using Google Chrome because we want to use the um, the Google Chrome developer developer console for this. And um, to do this, we um, just click here somewhere on the white space, uh, right click and then we go to inspect. And then um, the developer console will open and here you can see all the code of our website. And now we want to select um, yeah, the sale badge. So for this, we go here to the little arrow icon. We click on the arrow icon and now we can um, choose all the um, all the stuff on our website. So in this case, you want to choose uh, the sale badges badge. And now um, I click on the sale badge and now you can see we selected the sale badge and here you can see the property of the sale badge. You can see everything, um, the position and um, yeah, the, the radius, the Z index, the cursor, pointer, the color. But we want to make a new um, CSS code for this. So then we go here to the plus icon and we click a new um, style. Then we click on the plus icon. And now um, uh, this is selected here and now we can click here and double click that we make a new line where we can write code. So and now we um, type in this display. Yeah, display and this now um, or type display and hit enter. And now we have a few options so we can uh, choose our desired option from the drop down list or, or we can simply type in none because we want to display um, we, we don't want to display this sales badges. So um, then we simply type in none and now you can and then we press enter. Now you can see the sales badge is gone. And now all we have to do is we want to copy this code that we generated. Uh, we select everything 
and then we press uh, command C if you're on a Mac or um, control C and then we go to uh, the customizer additional CSS and then we paste it in here and now you can see it's gone and yeah that's all the magic and now you can press publish and now the um, sales batch is gone and let me show you one thing uh, here if I go to a um, a product page or not a product page a category page for example in my case dash cam for cars I will click on the product category page and um, yeah from time to time it can happen that the sale batch is um, here still visible then you have to do the same again so then um, right click on the white space here go to inspect and then you can um, with the arrow icon here then you can select the stuff you want and yeah that's it so um yeah now you can now you know how to um get rid of the sales badge if you have the sales badge badges and you want to get rid of them now you know exactly how this is working and with the css code now you uh yeah are familiar with CSS and uh, yeah that's it for the video and if you have any questions then write the questions down below in the comments and I will try to answer the, your questions as fast as I can and um, yeah otherwise if you found this uh, video informative then please give the, give the video a thumbs up and of course if you want to see more uh, WooCommerce and WordPress tips then make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and yeah thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye